Hey, today I'm going to be doing a recording about the fall. And uh, I've had a lot of setbacks doing this recording. I've been having a lot of technical issues and difficulties. Um, I tried to do this video early, uh, maybe uh, about a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago, and I've been having all, all kinds of issues with it. We uh, First, I made a clip and uh, it got interrupted and I had to divide it into parts. And I didn't really intend to do the video into parts, but sometimes I have to do it when there's an interruption. And uh, so then after I made the video into parts, uh, uh, I accidentally deleted one of the uh, clips. So I, do, so I deleted uh, the clip and I didn't have any, uh, I had to start all over again. So... So now I'm starting over. And uh, this is uh, the second video I'm doing about my uh, series I'm doing about events in the Bible and Bible history. And if you hear my cat in the background, just ignore it. Love my cat, but we got to get to the Word of God in here. Got to read the scriptures. Um, so, um, anyways, where we left off, uh, I was talking about when God created the universe and he uh, uh, made all of creation and mankind. And that's primarily in Genesis 1 and 2. I talked about how everything God created was good. And uh, earth was essentially like a paradise. It was a world free of sin, of sickness and suffering and death. Uh, but now I'm going to go into the next chapter here found in Genesis chapter 3. And we're going to see what happens next. And... Uh, I'll be reading from the scripture here in Genesis 3. Let me turn to it real quick. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go ahead and read through this chapter. Now this <clears throat> Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay, verse 7. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed the fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. So, uh, we see that uh, here uh, they, when they, was, they were tempted by the serpent, and that's Satan. And uh, this is the common temptation that's found among man. Uh, this is what we call the, sin, the three sins of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And those were the three... Uh, uh, Temptations, if you will, that uh, Satan used to uh, bring uh, sin into the world, where he caused uh, Eve to disobey God. Um, and uh, you know, the the God clearly warned that if you eat of that tree, then you'll die. Uh, but Satan first got started to question the authority of the Word of God. He said. 
has God said? And that's what many people do. They try to challenge the authority of the Word of God. They say, did God really say? Uh, and, and they're questioning the Word of God. That's how he plants seeds of doubt into you. And then he said, God, and then he said, you shall not surely die. So that's another lie that the serpent that many uh, false teachers teach nowadays that uh, you can sin and not die. They say you can live however you want, uh, that God's grace covers you no matter how you live. And we know that's a lie from the serpent. Uh, because the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And if you sin, you'll die spiritually. It causes both physical death and spiritual death. Um, so that was the lie that you'll, you'll not, you shall not surely die. And the other lie uh, that Satan promised was that you'll be as gods. Um, and, and the serpent uh, is still telling those lies today. We see many religions and they say, well, we can become gods. Uh, and, and that would essentially be called the pride of life. That, you know, you try to be your own god. You try to ro run your own life however you want. Uh, you try to be something. And uh, in this case, they were trying to be a god. Uh, and, and many people are still trying to be uh, basically their own god. And, uh, and, and that's a lie from Satan because there's only one god and we're not gods. And this was the whole reason why Satan was banished from heaven in the first place, Lucifer, uh, when he rebelled against God and tried to be like God. And tried to be God. And he was... And he, uh, sorry, the video got interrupted, but I got it on pause, and now I'm continuing. So, uh, yeah, so what I was saying is uh, that um, Satan was banished from heaven, now he's tempting Eve to be uh, like God. And uh, that's the part of life. And we see here, uh, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and uh, good for food, that's the lust of the flesh. And that it was pleasant to the eyes, that's the lust of the eyes. And desire to make one wise, that's the pride of life. So we see these three uh, avenues of temptation that Satan, use, uh, Satan uses with the three sins of the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And that was how uh, the first... That's what happened in the first sin in the garden. Um, now we see that Jesus, in Matthew chapter four, if I'm, if I remember correctly, the, if that's the correct scripture, I'm thinking off the top of my mind, uh, when he was tempted of uh, Satan, that he was also te uh, he was tempted to commit these three uh, sins. But Jesus, the difference between Jesus and uh, Adam and Eve was that Jesus overcame these temptations. He never uh, gave in to the temptation because temptation itself is not sin. Uh, but if you give in to that temptation like Eve did, then that's when it becomes a sin. And uh, Jesus resisted the devil. Uh, Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. And he quoted from the authority of the Word of God and never gave in to the temptations. And we, and we got to follow that example to overcome those sins. And um, so now I'm going to... Uh, Read the consequences of the fall. So I'm going to go ahead and start here in verse 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, 
For a dust thou art, and into dust thou shalt return. Okay, so we see here later in the chapter that they were driven out of the uh, Garden of Eden. So, the consequences that brought on to that to creation by that sin was the fall, which was a curse upon all creation. Uh, it's what brought sin and death into the world. Uh, and this is the reason why uh, the earth became corrupted. Uh, physical matter itself is not corrupt. We can still look at mountains and uh, beautiful uh, skies, and and that's not what the part of it that's corrupt. But what's corrupted is now there is sin in it. Now there's uh, sickness and suffering and sorrow, and there was none of that until the fall of man. And uh, and it was because of that first sin there in the garden that, that happened. So, and, and that's and that's because of free will. Because. Uh, we're not robots, so we have the freedom to obey or disobey God. And Adam and Eve chose to disobey, and they did that with their free will. Suffering and corruption doesn't come from God, it comes from man. <clears throat> and uh, so that's the reason why now we all die. Um, and sin is not only physical death, but it's also spiritual death. Uh, those are the two consequences of the fall. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hope it blesses you. And uh, will help you uh, learn more about uh, the Word of God. And I'm going to go in the next chapter after this and look at uh, Genesis 4, uh, Cain and Abel. Uh, thanks for watching.